Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall look at some examples related to factoring monomials. In this example, we want to factor out the greatest common monomial factor. The example here we have is 7x minus 21. We want to find the greatest common monomial factor, GCMF, greatest common monomial factor. Let me write that here. Greatest common monomial factor. We want to find a single term which is common in both of these in the given problem. So step number one. We want to see, we want to write out uh, anything common between 7x and 21. 7x, there is nothing uh, common to pull out, but in 21, we know our 7 times table, that is 7 times 3 is 21. Now we're going to look at 7x and 7 times 3. In step number 2, we're going to pull out something common between these two terms, and 7 is common, so therefore when we pull out 7, what we are left in here is x minus 3. So as you can see 7 times x is 7x, 7 times negative 3 is negative 21 and therefore we are on the right track. So here we can come back here and then say 7 is the greatest common monomial factor for this given expression. That's the way we want to understand these types of problems. Let's look at another example. Okay, In this example let us say we want to find find out the greatest common monomial factor for 15y cubed minus 25y squared. Okay, so let us break it down in, into these different steps. First of all, we want to see if there's anything common between between the coefficient terms and if there's anything common between the between the variable terms. Now. 15 and 25, 5 is common, so I'm going to break down 15 and 25 uh, like this. 5 times 3 is 15, and then y squared, the lowest power y term I have is y to the power of 2, so I can write y cubed as, in terms of y squared, like this. I can write y cubed as y to the power of 2 times y, right? because y means y to the power of 1, therefore y to the power of 2 plus 1, and therefore y to the power of 3. And we are using the some of the basic rules of exponents as we advance into this. So times y to the power of 2 times y. I, wrote, I expressed y cubed as y to the power of 2 times y. I have expressed 15 as 5 times 3. Similarly here, 25, I can write it in terms of 5 as 5 times 5, and I will retain the y to the power of 2 the, uh, as is because I don't want to go any, uh, any lower than that. So therefore, in step number 2, we're going to look for anything common in, in here. So in here, in this expression here and this expression here, 5 and y squared are common. 5 and y squared are common. So if I were to pull out 5y squared, um, let me write it in, be, let me be consistent here. 5y to the power of 2 is common. And therefore, if since if we were to pull out 5y to the power of 2, common between these two, we want to write the remaining terms inside this set of parentheses. So 3y is left in the first set of equation, and then 5 is left in the second set of equation. So now, if we can, if, if to check our work, 5y squared times 3y is 15y to the power of 3. That is what we have. 5y squared times 5 is negative 25y squared, and therefore we are on the right track. And therefore we can come back here and then say 5y cubed is the greatest common monomial factor for this given expression. And that is the way we want to find, we want to find uh, the monomials in a given expression. 
In my next presentation, we shall look at some more examples related to factoring monomials.